Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Janelle, lover of all things easy peasy keto. Let's talk holidays, specifically Thanksgiving. Uh, let's do a low carb, keto friendly Thanksgiving. I'm gonna show you all the delicious sides. You don't have to skimp out on holidays and you don't have to feel left out. I got you. Let's do this. I'm gonna show you how to do a low carb, keto friendly Thanksgiving. Let's get to it. If Thanksgiving is a time where you don't feel like you want to eat low carb, or you want to splurge on food, or you want to just eat whatever you want, you do you. I just want to show some ways, oh, that makes sense. I just wanted to share some ways that if you want to continue to live your low carb keto lifestyle on Thanksgiving, here's some easy ways. But by no means is there good food or bad food. So if you want to, eat non low carb food on thanksgiving you do you boo okay this is the lineup maybe i forgot some stuff but we're just gonna go with it okay we are doing cauliflower mash because duh what is thanksgiving without mashed potatoes so we doing cauliflower mash i love green bean casserole so i am gonna make some type of version of that with the green beans uh the cream of mushroom some bacon all of the goods um of course crispy fried onion and then i found this crispy jalapenos uh yes please um and then some brussels i love some brussels with some bacon and that's a great side so let's do this i'm gonna use half of the pack for the green beans and half of the pack for the brussels sprouts and for our brussels you're just going to cut the ends off and then cut it in half and keep these little pieces that come off they get so crispy and delicious. So super simple, cut the end off, cut it in half, and there we go. Okay, first step for the Brussels sprouts is to get your cast iron smoking hot and then preheat your oven to about 400, okay? And then the Brussels sprouts, we're gonna put some um, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and keep it basic. Just let the Brussels spreak for themselves. Spreak, speak, let the Brussels speak for themselves okay. olive oil garlic and then some salt and pepper okay so we'll just toss those get those mixed up really well and then like i said we're going to get the cast iron smoking hot when it gets hot Okay, here I am. Hi. <laughs> Do not put the oil while you're heating it. You're going to burn your oil. So get your cast iron hot, smoking hot, because we're going to get a real good sear on these bristles. Then you put in your oil. A little tip. Okay, so once your pan is hot, add your oil, and then turn the pan down just a little bit because you don't want to burn that oil. Okay, and then we're going to add in the bristles and try to get as many of them face down as you can. Oh, listen to that beautiful sound. Ooh. Mmm. Smell it. Smell it. Oh. <sighs> Smells like freaking Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I try to get as many as them face down because I like that sear on that other side. But don't worry, they're going to be delicious. So uh, just sear these for like two to three minutes, maybe even five. We'll take a peek. But don't touch them for at least three minutes. It's beginning to look a lot like Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, that's toilet paper because um, I ran out of paper towels and I didn't have anything else. So, yeah. Okay, anyways. It's beginning to look a lot like Thanksgiving. Okay, so three minutes just passed and I turned one over to check it. That's what you're looking for. Yum. So I'm just going to stir them up. Take a look at what we got. And then you're gonna finish these in the oven. But wait, we're gonna add some treats. So, oh my God, you guys. Oh, how beautiful. That's the char you're looking for. Okay, I'm gonna very <laughs> dangerously try to flip a little bit more over. I'm sure there's a better technique than this, but I don't follow kitchen rules. In fact, I don't really even know the kitchen rules. All I know is 
That's my favorite part, is that charry part. And I want as much of that as I can. And no, I don't think charry is a word, but this is how we do it in my kitchen. So I flip them, and then I'm gonna roast them for another three minutes. And if you cook a lot with a cast iron, I highly suggest getting one of these little handles. So then you can do this. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Let's pop these babies in the oven. Uh, the oven's set at 400. I'm gonna do about 15 minutes and then check on them. Oh my God. Yum. Okay, that is the Brussels. After 15 minutes, we're gonna add half of the chopped bacon and then top with Parmesan and put it back in for about five to 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that looks delicious. Okay, I mean, that is not the most beautiful Brussels sprouts you've ever seen. I don't, I don't know what is, I don't know. Oh my God, delish. Okay, so just in the interest of taste testing, I mean, for safety for the family, can you see that Brussels sprout? With the bacon and the parm. Wow. Wow on every level. Mm. That's a good one. And I'm actually going to do green beans two ways. So my daughter is very allergic to dairy and eggs. So I'm not going to be putting any cream in her. So I took half of my green beans. I'm going to make a casserole. And then the other half of it's going to do like... um roasted or maybe even just steamed for her so i'm using fresh green beans so i'm gonna boil these for about five to ten minutes but don't overcook them because they're gonna cook again in the oven so just like halfway done you know <laughs> okay now let's work on the sauce for the green bean casserole you're gonna chop up one onion and cook that down i'm gonna add just a tiny pinch of xanthan gum to the green bean casserole sauce, just to thicken it up just a little bit. Okay, so our sauce thickened up beautifully. We're ready to assemble our casserole. Okay, we got our green beans, half of the other half of the bacon. Let's pour in our delicious sauce we made. Oh, yum. Okay, let's mix that up. So I cooked this for about 15 minutes. It looks and smells delicious. I mixed crispy jalapenos with some crispy fried onions in here and we're just gonna top it and then put that back in the oven. Okay, wait, this is my left hand. Let me try to do this. Okay, then I'm gonna spread that out. Um, and I'm gonna put this back in the oven for like another five minutes. And there we have it. Yummy, low carb keto green bean bacon casserole damn that looks so good and i mean it's only me and my family that's eating this so it's okay to taste test out of the pan right green bean casserole wow And yeah, I'm going to double dip. Ooh, the jalapeno, those jalapeno, crispy, crispy jalapenos. Ooh, the spice is so phenomenal. Mmm. Oh my God. Damn, I killed it. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Okay, start by bringing some water to a boil on your stove. Okay, you're gonna add your cauliflower, about two tablespoons of butter, heavy whipping cream, spices of your choice. I like garlic, salt and pepper. I like to keep it basic and just let the flavor of the food speak for itself. Let's blend this up.
Okay, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn or anything. But God damn, that's some good cauliflower mash. Okay, keto, low carb, Thanksgiving sides. Three options, cauliflower mash, uh, loaded bacon and Parmesan Brussels sprouts. These are literally like fire, 10 out of 10. So damn good. And then some homemade green bean casserole. This is actually one of my favorite things in Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, there you go. Keto Thanksgiving. This was absolutely phenomenal. I'm gonna like, eat Thanksgiving every night. Do you dip your turkey in your mashed potatoes? Well, cauliflower mash. And don't mind, don't mind, LOL back there. Oh my God. Wow. What is your favorite dish from Thanksgiving? I think it might, might be the green bean casserole. Mmm. Wow. And I'm not just saying this because, like, I made it and, like, I'm fabulous. This is really good. Mmm. I will never use cream of mushroom out of a can ever again. Mmm. Like, you would never know that that's cauliflower, right? Mm. The things you can do in 2020, you know? If cauliflower can be a mashed potato, there's really no limits, you know? Mm. I hope everybody has a beautiful holiday. I hope you eat lots of delicious food. And don't forget to tell me what's your favorite dish on Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, what should we do next? And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell.